other people. It's D, and I'm back with beautiful little Bonnie D. And I've changed her so she's all pretty and pink. And this is a little Spanish dress with her little pink sockies. And I still don't have any other shoes for her. So she's wearing these sparkly ones that came with her. Yay! She's got this. I never wore this little hairband before. Put her little hair up. She looks so sweet. Yes, she is waiting patiently on, ta-da, can you see this? Paola Rida. You've all seen my Lyra 13 inches, pro doll stream on Instagram. Well, this is a mini one. There she is. The husband had to open it, of course, and all of this had to be washed down. So I just took the little stickers off here and I was doing it really slowly because I like to save these boxes, but it tore a little bit here. So then we just lift it off. Oh, here's little August, of course. She's waiting to see her sister. Oh, she is August, and this little one here is going to be called July. But this is the way they come inside. There's a stand in here. Unfortunately, my other box, my granddaughter wanted that. So, but anyway, you know me, I end up taking them out and changing their clothes and all that. I'm not really the kind of collector to sort of keep them in boxes. So this one here, I think is about eight inches. She's bigger than little August. If we could just do that for, yeah. But um, August is jointed and she actually has bigger eyes. And this is the coloring of my mother. And my mother was born in August. And this is the coloring of my father. But you know me about the girls, I had to get a girl, but this is his colouring and she's going to be called July. Because my father was born on the 4th of July. Now there's just a little, a little elastic here around her. And you just, oops, I've got all my stuff out there. I'm going to try and sit today to make hair bands. And I have to make more elephant bracelets and necklaces. There we go, we just snip that and out she comes. Oh wow, I was asking her to do the lacing um, through the plaits. Can you see that, guess? She had one done in blue. Isn't that gorgeous? And I told her just to, to pick the clothes for me. And I'm, I'm actually so glad that this one has shoes. Really glad. Do you see the wee boots? I adore them that August has. I made her this little dress. She needs her hair fixed now. Oh, and Lyra has boots like this too. And they're like, they have to be knotted about three times. And they're so cute. And they're real leather and everything. But whenever you're, you know, at the moment when I'm making the clothes and trying to change things, you know, take things off and on, they are just so bothersome. So yeah, look at this little gelash. Wow, look at that. Now these are mini paolas. You buy them on Instagram, but they're not ordinary. Paola dolls. Everything is stripped paint and they're like custom made then and new wigs, whatever colour you want, whatever colour eyes, skin, whatever. And then I told her to just surprise me this time with the clothes. Oh, she does have little pants on. Yeah, I still need to make some pants for um, Lyra because Lyra had tights on, so there we go. That's lilac all laced through. That'll do for, um, what do you call it? Yeah, made out, the lupus is coming. And I would love it if you all did a video for me, a little shout out like you did um, last year. Her eyelashes are so long, but um, I don't know if you can see them. Can you see? She's beautiful. And of course you could take the hair out there and do whatever you like. Now this gear, she's jointed here and the head and everything, but of course they're not jointed. But she does have new jointed bodies that she was thinking of using. But this little dress is so soft. And I'm gonna try and copy this now. I'm, I bought little hooks and stuff, but if I could buy this, 
stuff here that just sticks. I did have some of it before. It would be much easier to make the clothes. Isn't she gorgeous? July, welcome home. Yeah, she's, she's beautiful. She's bigger and heavier now. She's more, August is quite, uh, quite delicate, but she's, August is nice because of the way you can pose her and stuff. So yeah, here they are together. You can see the height difference. So yeah, welcome home July, August and July. And today from Mary who did this one, I ordered, I mean, I've, I've just been thinking about it for years and I just kept putting it off and putting it off and downsizing and downsizing, but what can I say guys? I ordered the lame sculpt as a girl. I paid a deposit, but I'm gonna have to pay up so it could be like October or something, I don't know. Shh. So yeah. And uh, Bonnie here is 26 inches, so lame apparently is 28. So yeah, I know guys, you all think I'm crazy, but what can we do? This lockdown is driving us crazy. So we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's it. Beautiful little July. So I will have, yeah, um, put suggestions down below, guys, for the lame sculpt. She sculpt will be done as a girl that is, I am now reborn pregnant. If you have any lame suggestions, because I'm looking for something a bit different, you know? So, there we go. Say bye, guys. Here she is. We're gonna have to fix her fringe a little bit. And I was telling you about the hair. This is also, it's, it's like coarser, definitely. But it's beautiful. But um, I don't know how August here seems to have got the human hair and it's just so, so silky and soft. It needs fixed to get it a bit. So yeah. Okay, I'll let you go. God bless everybody.